Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my top, top five, five, top, top five, five, top five. five. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm going to be doing my top five red lipsticks. Um, I'm really, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll make sure I have them all down in the description box, but I've tried these on in past videos. If you guys haven't watched some of my lip swatching videos, I'll link one up here. Um, but as always, I will have them on the screen. I'll tell you guys a little bit about why I like them. And then of course I will show you guys what they actually look like on my lips. All right. So this first color that I'm wearing right now is Rogue Red, and this is from Black Radiance. It's one of their perfect tone matte lip creams. Um, the formula, it feels really good. It doesn't feel restricting. It does take a little bit of time to dry. So like that's the only con. Um, and you also have to make sure that you're applying it in even coatings because sometimes it gets that like kind of like silky sheen to it. And if you press your lips together, then a whole patch will come off. Something that I can really appreciate about this formula is that it settles into the natural wrinkles of your lips and your lips aren't feeling restricted because something that I've noticed with those lipsticks that do have formulas that have you with a tight mouth and have restricted lips is that it crumbles off fairly quickly. So this is just a very comfortable wear and it is a drugstore lipstick. It retails at $3.99. You can find this at any local drugstore, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, anything like that. And then you can also find it online. And these are transfer proof. The next lipstick is the NYX Liquid Suave I'm wearing on my lips right now. And I'm wearing the shade Cherry Skies. This is a drugstore lipstick. It retails for like seven-ish dollars. Uh, depending on where you buy it, you can find it at Target. And honestly, I don't think I've seen it anywhere else. And of course, you can buy it on the website, but I picked this up at Target. When you put it on, it does have a bit of a tacky feeling to it. But for the most part, it dries matte with a semi sheen, like a very, very faint sheen. This lipstick is not transfer proof. So just to keep that in mind, however, that does not take away from the quality. It's just one thing to notice. You will have to touch it up if you're eating, if you're drinking off a glass throughout the evening, if you go out somewhere. So definitely a major pro of this is that it starts drying almost instantly as soon as you put it on your lips. But the only thing that I could think of for a con is that this is not transfer proof. Um, but honestly, it's not a big deal. Just keep it on you wherever you go and touch it up as needed. Also, I wanted to mention that this has a very comfortable wear. My lips don't feel restricted while I'm wearing this and I can mainly attribute that to it's not a matte liquid lipstick although it does dry almost completely matte. Um, it's not like a traditional matte lipstick. The third lipstick that I wanted to mention that I'm wearing on my lips right now is Stoplight Red and it is from Wet n Wild, their Mega Last lipstick collection. And a fun fact, this is the first ever lipstick that I bought, not this exact one. I've gone through like many tubes of this, but I saw it at the drugstore and I believe it was like 99 cents, $1.99. Depends, sometimes they have really, really good sales, but I bought it and I tried it on. I was like, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. And I have been obsessed with red lipstick since then. So this is super affordable and it is a drugstore lipstick. You can find it at CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, and I believe even Dollar Tree. Something that I would definitely suggest is making sure that your lips are well exfoliated before you wear this because that definitely contributes to how long the lipstick lasts throughout the day. This lipstick has a traditional sheen to it and something that I love about this is that it doesn't need a lip liner. You can definitely pair it with a lip liner to make it even better, but alone it is just as wonderful. And this lipstick is not transfer proof. Something that I forgot to mention with the other two is that with the NYX Liquid Suede, the takeoff is very, very easy. And then with the Black Radiance Perfect Tone Matte Lip Creams, I would suggest taking it off with something uh, that has an oil base or even an oil itself just to loosen it up so you're not scrubbing your lips and just wrong them out. With the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lipstick, I didn't have it on for too long. I wouldn't say more than 10 minutes and it already, it did start to stain my lips a little bit as you can see here. So that's just something to take into consideration. The fourth lipstick that I wanted to mention is from ColourPop. It is one of their ultra matte lip creams and it is the shade Silhouette. I have it on my lips right now. This lipstick is $6 and as far as I know, you can only find it on their website. This lipstick is transfer proof and this is one of the ones that I've purchased in the last year. I do believe that they reformulated their ultra ultra matte lipsticks so it doesn't have that restricted feeling on my lips it has a very comfortable wear something that I wanted to mention was that in certain places this lipstick can be very patchy it's very very light so you just need to wait for it to dry completely and then go back and apply another coating and just do so as necessary until you achieve the color payoff desired when taking these off I just definitely recommend using something of an oil base to take them off something to be cautious of is as you're wearing it throughout the day it will start to crumble from the inside out so just make sure that you bring it with you if you're going to wear it to an event or if you're going out on a date or something and I would say go ahead and take it off completely don't even try to touch it up because it's going to look really really gross so just take it off completely and then reapply it and then the final lipstick that I wanted to mention is 
is the Tarte Lip Paint in Bay, and I'm wearing it on my lips right now. This is hands down probably my favorite lipstick of all time. This retails, I believe, for $21, and you can find it at Ulta and Sephora. I picked up this lipstick about a year ago, and every single time I wear it in the video, you guys always ask, what lipstick are you wearing? What lipstick are you wearing? So usually, if you are wondering, there's like a nine times out of 10 chance what red lipstick I'm wearing, it is the Tarte Lip Paint in Bay. As far as the formula, when you take out the one, it's like this very, very thick cream, and initially it does have a slight sheen to it, but once you let it settle on your lips, then for the most part, it looks looks very, very matte. This lipstick is not transfer proof, however, I would say just bring it with you to touch it up throughout the day or throughout the evening. As far as texture of this lipstick goes, it is very, very buttery smooth. It feels good on the lips. It feels very creamy on your lips and it feels very, very moisturizing. And then also the tube, the lipstick itself does have a slight like peppermint smell to it. So you guys, those are my top five favorite red lipsticks. If there are any other top fives that you guys would love to see, then definitely comment that down below. Um, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button to get notifications when I post. Share this video, give the video a thumbs up, bring a friend next time, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Emailed you, yo, remember that? Remember when I texted you, yo, remember that? Remember when you never answered, cause you told you got no time, now you really on my time, yo, remember that? Remember